Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Carla Price and um, today I'm coming to you to share with you a testimony of how God saved me. God saved me from an accident and today I am utterly grateful. You know, um, whenever I remember how he saved me, um, I'm still in awe of how he did it. I was coming from school one day. At that time I was attending teacher's college and I was coming home. Um, at that time we were having exams, we were doing exams and so I used every time that I could get, every single time I get I would study. I try my best to, you know, study and I was at the bus stop waiting on a bus to get home. After entering into the bus, I was thinking to myself that, you know, sitting at the back would be more comfortable. I wouldn't be in the way of anybody who may want to exit the bus. So I sat at the back with my book and I was there reading. While I was there reading, I'm not going to say I heard a voice, but I got this urge to leave from the back of the bus and go to sit at the extreme front that was beside the driver. Um, I didn't want to get up because I felt so comfortable reading, not being in the way of anybody. Um, so I sat there still. And um, after sitting there for a while, still reading, that urge came on me again. Get up, go to the front, the front seat beside the driver. I was still hesitant, still didn't want to go. But then after a while, I said to myself, you know, let me just get up and go to the front seat. So I got up and I went to the front of the bus to sit. Even though it wasn't where I wanted to go, because I wanted to be in my own comfort zone, but I obeyed and I went to the front. So the bus was there for a while before, you know, it moved off. No, so we left and we were on our way home. Upon reaching a certain spot, somebody wanted to, to exit the bus, so it was a minivan. So the minivan stopped and as the passenger was exiting the bus, we heard this loud commotion. It was so frightening. We were all frightened in the bus. So we all got out of the bus to see what had happened. So we got out and um, we were looking to see what really happened. And when we came out of the bus, only to see that it was a coaster bus that collided right into the back of the minivan that we were in. It was a nasty damage. But this is what the miracle is for me, and I am forever grateful. That same spot that I was sitting in the bus at the extreme back, that same spot that I was sitting, that is where the coaster bus hit the minivan, exactly where I was sitting. And let me tell you something. When I got out of the minivan, and I saw the damage that was caused by that coaster, let me tell you, if I was still sitting there, I don't think I'll be alive today because the damage was so serious. It was a nasty hit, you know. If I was still sitting there, I would not be alive today. And even if I was alive, even if I had endured that, I, maybe I wouldn't have any use for myself today. And I just give God glory. That happened some years ago, you know, but I still remember. And I still think that it is, it is right for me to share with somebody to let them know that God is still looking out for us. He still has our backs. You know, if I didn't obey that voice, I would not be here. Whether it was a voice or an urge, I, I would not be here. But when I think about how God was looking out for me, how he propelled me to move from where I was because he saw what was going to happen and he, he, he would urge me to, to move from where I was and go somewhere else. I am forever grateful. I am forever grateful. You know, um, at that time, at that time, I didn't really have a cell phone that could take pics because I wish I could show you how serious the damage was. I wish I could show you. Then you'd completely understand what I'm talking about. You know, today I just want to encourage somebody that God is good. God is good. His ways are perfect. And he has our best interest at heart. Today, I hope that you have been blessed by my testimony. I just want to tell you, trust God and follow his leading. He will never lead you down the path of destruction. But we, as his children, he loves us. Let us just continue to serve God and to obey his voice. Take care and have a blessed rest of the day.
all of you who are here tonight on this live. God bless you. God bless you all for coming out to sing songs of praises unto the Lord tonight. And as you come, I hope that you're coming with your worship tonight. Bless the name of Jesus. Um, tonight I'm here not to put on a show, not to entertain but to minister in song you know there might be somebody out there who you know maybe need a song to encourage to motivate to push you to encourage you praise god i'm an open vessel to the lord tonight to allow him to use me bless the name of jesus praise god i feel as though the camera it just feels really weird praise god bless the name of jesus bless the name of jesus tonight um I see a lot of persons asking about my foot, as most of you would know that um, uh, my foot was not feeling well from last week. Still not feeling too well tonight, but I'm still here to worship and to glorify my Father which is in heaven. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. As you can see, I'm still sitting down tonight because, you know, I'm not able to apply too much pressure. But amidst everything that is happening... God is worthy. Amidst everything, bless the name of Jesus, God is still worthy of all praise and all glory tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As you come, just worship God tonight, knowing that he alone is worthy. He alone deserves our praise. And if even if we're feeling sad, feeling down, that still does not, um, that still should not stop us from worshiping God. And so tonight we're going to sing some songs of praises unto the Lord in acknowledgement of who he is tonight. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sweet hours of prayer. Sweet hours.
Bless the name of Jesus. I, I hope that you're praying for me. And as I go in tonight, bless the name of Jesus. We know that there is nothing that can go wrong when prayer is a part of what we are doing tonight. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. As we welcome the Holy Spirit tonight. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Let's worship the Lord with me tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome.
name of Jesus. One day when I was lost, uh, Jesus died upon the cross, and I know that it was the blood that saved me. It is the blood that is keeping me right now. You know, the, the blood that will never lose its power. Mighty God of Daniel, hallelujah. The blood that flows from day to day, it will never, never lose its power. And tonight, as I bring the curtains down tonight, you know, I just want to leave this song with you. Praise the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Just want to leave this song with you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. That there is no other blood. There was no other blood that could heal our broken bodies and save our sinful soul. It was only the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. For so many Yeah. 
blood that gives me strength, bless the Lord Jesus, from day to day. And it is that blood that will never, never, ever lose its power. Tonight, I am grateful to be here tonight to sing. I am so grateful tonight because most of you remember that last week I was telling you that there is a need that is stuck in my foot. Most of you maybe remember, if you were here, if you were here last week, you would remember I'm talking about the blood that is giving me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. And I still have the needle in my foot. You know, the doctors, as I told you, were not able to, to, to get it out. So I'm still here. And that's the reason why I'm sitting down tonight. It is not the most comfortable thing to sit and play for me. But tonight, I'm here to sing unto the Lord. And tonight, as I am closing... I want to thank all of you and I'm asking you, please, please remember me in your prayer. When you're praying, call my name to the Lord. You know, ask him as I'm believing by faith that he's going to work a miracle. Just continue praying for me because we know the power that is in prayer. Remember me in your prayer. Thank you all so much for those of you who, who came out to see me, to worship with me tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining the live for those who were worshiping the Lord with me, God bless you all. As I said before, I don't want to start calling names tonight. I don't want to leave out anybody at all. But please know that I appreciate all of you. All of you. I appreciate you coming out week after week. And as I go, I pray that the peace of the Lord, which passeth all human understanding, I pray that it will be upon you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all those who are praying. May God bless you. And as I always say, if it is the will of the Lord that I be back here, please remember it's a, a Friday on Friday at 7.30 p.m. In the name of Jesus. As we come to sing unto the Lord. The Bible said, sing unto him and make a joyful noise unto him. God wants us to sing songs of praises unto him. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everyone. Bless the Lord. Thank you all for coming. God bless you as I'm about to go. God bless you. God bless you. And I love you all. I appreciate you. And thanks for coming. Join me again in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everybody. In Jesus' name.